Okay, so the APR is really just a hypothetical figure, okay? It's more or less the interest rate on your mortgage loan plus the rest of the charges, okay? As in the closing costs that it takes to borrow the home plus the PMI if there's any. This doesn't take into account the monthly HOA fee or the monthly property taxes or homeowner's insurance or the prepaid escrow to set up at closing. Um, only the items that are going to be part of the loan. So your interest rate, the PMI, and the closing costs associated with getting that loan. So um, monthly property taxes, homeowner's insurance, HOA, um, those are always gonna be uh, paid on every home regardless of if there's a loan or not. So they don't go into the calculation for the APR. Okay, so to get the APR on a traditional 30-year loan, and here's the calculation by the way, uh, they basically spread out the closing costs into a monthly figure as if they were paid back evenly over 360 months uh, instead of uh, paid out on closing day. Okay, and then the APR would be the resulting rate if those fees were instead paid or converted into interest. Okay, now, one quick thing. If you're getting an ARM, adjustable rate mortgage, the APR is going to be artificially high, and here's why. All right, the interest rate can go back up after the initial five, seven, or 10 year period where the rate is low to start. And the APR calculation is conservative and assumes one, you're going to be in the loan for uh, the full 30 years past the introductory low rate period. And two, it assumes that the rate is going to go up uh, much higher than it is when you first have the loan in that introductory low rate period. Okay, and it's calculated high like that, um, even though you'd very likely be planning to get out of the mortgage before that five, seven, or 10 year period. Okay, so in that five, seven, or 10 year period, that you get the arm for, the cost of it, which is what the APR measures, is going to be much lower than what the 30-year loan would cost during that time, since it will have a lower interest rate uh, than the 30-year loan. So uh, it's a little misleading in that sense. Uh, but anyways, now you know what the APR is, what makes it up, and um, why it can be a little off, uh, so to say. But thanks for watching.